video is sponsored by EA and a big thank you to them for providing me with an early access code for the new Crystal Creations pack. Hello and welcome to the channel. This is Labushka and we are here for a quick build and buy overview of all the items that came with or that are coming with the Crystal Creations stuff pack. So I've thrown everything out. I've got pretty much all the swatches or almost everything so we can have a quick look at everything that comes with the new pack so let's get started with the wallpaper now this was a really really big like deal for me I was so excited about uh, the wallpaper and I think like they're pretty cute um, there is no floor tiles that come with the pack so um, it's just like this range of colors here and there's only the wallpaper. So, I mean, they're pretty cool. You know, you have like a moon, you have like little crystals and stars and things. The swatches are actually really nice. Uh, I tried building a little bit with them already and I, I personally had a bit of trouble with, <laughs> with the colors, just going to be honest. Uh, I would have preferred if maybe there was, you know, a couple of brighter swatches because there are a lot of, you know, dark swatches. You know, so you have this kind of like gray color, then you have a dark blue, then you've got another kind of like dark purpley thing. And, you know, there's there's a lot of sort of samey, sameness in some of these, a couple of different white swatches. They are very nice, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna struggle uh, maybe building with them a little bit, but I think they're absolutely gorgeous. So a really big win, in my opinion, for this pack. Now, I was also really pumped about uh, these couches here. So they do actually have, as you can see, like a little bit of a pattern on them. And again, there's like, you know, for a lot of these items, there's the same um, 12 swatches that come with the pack. So it's gonna make it really easy to match things if you wanna go that way. But I think, you know, if you wanna use a lot of items from this pack and just like mix them together, um, you know, you're gonna have all the same swatches available, which is really nice. Uh, so that, you know, it kind of all has the same feel. So you have a couple of really like bright colors. Um, it looks, these colors look brighter on the couches than they do, for example, like on the wallpaper, um, but also some like more subtle ones. I think the whites are really nice. I personally like this really, uh, this green color, purple, the blue. So a lot of, a lot of big wins here in terms of the colors, uh, in my opinion, that um, have come with the game. So, uh, we've got uh, this is a desk chair so as you can see it's like it's on it's on wheels which is pretty cool and nothing too special um you know they're, they're pretty basic i think these could be used in a variety of situations you know even if we're talking about like um dormitories on campus you know for um for sims like discover university sort of stuff um i'm even thinking like in offices you know, things like that. Like these pretty cool libraries, that sort of thing too. Uh, so we've done the comfort. That's it. There's no, this this desk chair and there's this um, two-seater love seat. But there is no kind of like uh, other sort of one single-seater like sofa that comes with the pack. Um, something that I would have liked to have seen. But I understand it is just a stuff pack and it wasn't necessarily, you know, the focus of this pack so um, I think it's really nice that they even just got a couch I I didn't expect that <laughs> and I didn't expect to get a desk chair either so I'm really happy with that uh, we have here the new gemology tables so it's fun to actually whoops it's fun to actually get like a much closer up view of what is here so you have like the kind of gas bottle with the, the like I guess it's like a welding tool that's pretty cool um, some other kind of contraption here, you know, you have bits and pieces. It looks like wire um, for, you know, maybe making the jewelry. You have another kind of like table here. Um, the lamps and everything, like it's all attached, but that's pretty cool. And there's a range of colors again. So uh, quite subtle. I think the only really bright colors here to my eyes are the red and the purple. But otherwise, it's nice that you also have a range of different um browns and of course white and black are also really good to always have as well so much appreciated there uh okay we'll move on to the carpets just because they're right here um so there's kind of like if you can see there's sort of like two of 
each. There's like a matching pair. You know, there's one kind of with the sun and then there's one with um, moons as well, the phases of the moon. So this is meant to be like, I guess, the matching pair. This is really nice. I particularly like this black one. Uh, the red, I think, is really nice too. Like they're all really nice, but I mean, it's, it's quite strong. So I won't personally use that. I'll use, for carpets, I tend to use more like subtle colors. But these are also really nice. You know, you have your creams, whites, blacks, blues, and everything in the pack obviously matches with each other, which makes, you know, building any kind of gemology room or gemologist's um, little house or apartment a lot easier. Uh, this is a console table. So a side table, essentially. Pretty cool, because it is like kind of quite narrow, which is nice, but it's also really, um, really long. So you, you know, have the opportunity to put things both um, the top and the bottom if you're wanting to use it. And I think it's quite versatile to the design. So it could be used um, in a variety of places, which like, which is really good. Some of the packs have items that are not as versatile. So um, it, this is really nice that it is more versatile. And then you have, uh, this is like a side table and this was in the trailer. Well, so was this, this other table. But these were in the trailer. These are really cool. They have those like narrow, um, narrow drawers with like the metal handles. So they're pretty cool. Definitely I'm getting an office vibe. I, you know, I have to say um, more so than like a gemologist. Maybe these are like you keep gems in there or like parts. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'm still getting like massive office vibes. I'm definitely going to use it in offices. Okay. This was a surprise for me. Um, at first I was a bit disappointed that this is a coffee table and not a dining table. That's okay. So we didn't get a dining table, just FYI, uh, but this is a coffee table. So um, one thing that I really liked was that if you look at the different, it's a bit hard with the, the light, but if you look at the different swatches of these, these two, one's kind of more creamy and at least how the, the way that the light reflects on it makes it look a little bit worn. And this one kind of looks quite um, like clean, you know, quite new. But, you know, you have your regular sort of uh, range of swatches here for that. And I think it's pretty decent. Like, it's quite a big coffee table, but uh, I think it's it's nice. And I don't mind having another one that's got some glass because we don't actually have that many of those. All right, continuing with uh, surfaces, we have the desk. Oh, I'm so excited. Um one thing that I don't like is this particular like sort of rectangle detail. There is one other desk and sort of other set of tables that have this detail. And I feel like one, it's kind of recycled here. Two, I just personally don't like it. I just, I just think of pirates. For some reason, it just makes me think of pirates. And if you know the, uh, the desks and other things I'm talking about in the game, maybe you feel the same. However, I really like this desk. I was, one thing that I really didn't expect was that it has these like checkered um, or this checkered pattern, it, you know, at the top of all of them. And some of them are more obvious than others. Um, and a couple of these have like more of a gold trim around, but you know, these are all really, really nice. And I think it's kind of, they're not like too weird. Like for example, the desk that comes with paranormal stuff pack was like quite out there in a way so it's like a little bit difficult to use across a range of builds but i think this is pretty understated so like it's gonna be good you know um oh okay yeah hey there were some lamps now while we're here um these are this is a table lamp so obviously it's kind of like a candle um and it comes only in what is that eight swatches so, but these are the swatches that you can get for the little lamp. So you have some that have this like um, gold kind of, or this like band around, and then you have some without them as well. So this is pretty cute. And I already tested this, like it fits really nicely on shelves, for example, you know, you can put it up here as well. And um, you know, up, up the top of the table, you can put it on the side. So it's kind of small enough that I think it will fit um, in a range of places, which is really cool um, or, you know, when we get to these little shelves, I'm pretty sure that it should fit on the little shelf. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Okay. Um, shall we actually go to what's on the wall? Okay. So, uh, if you did watch my um, my like trailer overview video, 
Um, it wasn't exactly a trailer reaction because I already watched it. I was wondering if these boxes would be stackable, right? Because that would make sense. And alas, they are stackable and movable. So they kind of, you know, click together. And there's a couple of other things uh, in the pack that also do the same thing, which is really cool. But we've got all the swatches here, but yeah, you can arrange this however you want. You know, these two, you can just like move together, which is really cool. Um, you know, you put one there. The only thing is like, if you want to, uh, for example, like if I wanted to put one here, like in this space, uh, I had trouble before doing that. It didn't work. You know what? Just scrap what I was about to say. It's fine. <laughs> Because now it's working fine, so it doesn't matter. There, I was having like a bit of a glitch before, maybe. But anyway, these are the boxes, so you can keep them in a very, you know, like. Um oh, now I can't m just move two. I just want two. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> I just want to move them, like, you know. I was gonna say, if you want them in a really like sort of standard um, formation, then that's pretty cool. And <laughs> now I can't move it. Oh, how about like this? Oh, now I did it. You know, like this looks really nice. Even if you had different swatches, I think personally they looks, looks, this looks really good. Uh, but yeah, so you have, you know, freedom there on how you want to arrange that. Um, this is kind of, um, well, it's a little sort of just shelf to put on the wall. You know, we do have some shelves here that you can display things on. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty nice. You can fit a couple of things on here if they're small enough. Um, that won't fit on here, that's too big. But I don't know how I feel about these. Um, I haven't decided yet. I didn't expect them to kind of be there. I think my eyes must have missed them, you know, when I was looking at, when I was looking at what comes with the pack. So I, I'm sort of juries out on these, but anyway, there's a nice uh, shelf for you. Now we have these other shelves too. Uh, this was in the trailer for sure. And yeah, another kind of display thing. So there is uh, 12 of those that you can see in like the standard range of colors. Um, then we have this, uh, what was it called? Cordelia's bust. So it's just decorative. This is also decorative and this is kind of like a crystal terrarium. It's pretty cool. And actually this in the game comes under um, the plants, you know, in decorations and then you go to the plants and this is where you can find um, these little boxes. So I was a bit confused. I thought they might come in like just other decorations, like the miscellaneous stuff or something, but they're actually um, like a plant terrarium thing. Uh, we also have these, which I, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan of these display cases, but I appreciate it. You know, I don't think, um, can we put, if we grab one of these, can we put it in there? So yeah, you have a couple of, you know, slots um, down the bottom, one up the top. You can put your crystals in there. Again, look, it's nice. I'm getting Windenburg vibes. Um, and I think that's what's confusing for me. Some of this stuff, like these shelves and this, um, these display shelves here, give me Windenburg vibes. And then the other stuff is a bit more neutral. Like it's not so heavy in the style. Uh, but it's it's okay. I can't personally see myself using this. Maybe if it was like uh, a rectangular shape and not kind of curved at the top, I would. But they're nice. Uh, just not not really um, what I personally go for. But you have um, a, the 12 swatches there again. Now this light, however, is awesome. This is really cool. So a few less swatches here, but you have that, um, you know, a... Um, and what do you call it? A floor lamp. And it's kind of nice that these also not very like big, you know, because some of the floor lamps we have are quite chunky, so they can be tough to put into a corner, but these are really nice and tall and, and sort of slim to slot into a corner. Um, a nice floor plant. So I don't particularly like the swatches of like the stand that the plant is in, but I like the plant uh, itself. So, you know, you do have... Um, some like lighter shades some darker shades and i think this is actually going to be a really versatile plant and i think in my opinion we've received a lot of really nice plants in the recent packs and i really appreciate that because i was getting a bit bored of the plants you know that we have so we've we've gotten i think they've improved on the plants okay i'll just say that um one surprise that i didn't realize if you can see in the corner it says classically cool sales table 
So, you know, back when we got, um, uh, what there was one in Eco Living and there was the Jungle, um, the Jungle, I was going to say Jungle Book, <laughs> the Jungle, uh, what do you call it? Um, pack, Jungle Adventure Pack, is that what it's called? And they were like, you know, it was like, whoa, we have selling tables. Now we have like quite a few. So we have yet another selling table here. So these are pretty nice. I didn't know what this was when I saw the picture of it. I thought like, there's no way this can be a, um, a what do you call it? Like a dining table because, you know, it's got stuff underneath. But yeah, really cool. We got another selling table. So um, cheers for that, Sims team. I think that's a great idea. I've, I've got enough selling tables now. You know, I think we've got enough variety now, <laughs> in my opinion. But, you know, um, you know, it's good that one came with this pack. It makes sense. Uh, okay, so um, this is a jewelry box. So this is, yeah, just decorative. I didn't pull out, put out all the swatches of this because they just took up way too much room on the tables. But you have that. This is like a jewelry display, which is pretty cool as well. Like, you know, when you go to the, um, like a jewelry store, they always have these kinds of things. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this is, I believe, something. What was this? A jeweler's tray. So I guess, again, just like decorative, but just like with some tools, uh, you know, to make it kind of look genuine. Get your, get your decoration on. Now these are field kits. So although this one has some kind of tools in it, this these are actually called field kits in the game. So this is, I think like the cheap one and this is like the more expensive one, you know, it comes with the notebook and you've got some like roll up leather pouch here as well. Um, and extra kind of bits and bobs. Oh, that is a nice swatch. I'm really digging the um, green and purple swatches in this uh, this pack. <laughs> it's like, it, it's perfect. It's uh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay, now these are the uh, crystal grids. I was gonna say the charging mats. Crystal grids. So this is where, you know, you'll be putting your jewelry um, to charge it. Now it says, it's got a red message here that says not charging and it says place up to seven gemstones or jewelry pieces. So that's pretty cool that you can fit that many at once on a crystal grid that is outdoors between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. to charge them and unlock their hidden powers. So pretty much, I guess you can't charge them during the day. It has to be then, you know, in the evening hours, which I mean is reasonable. I think it kind of add some nice gameplay as well that you can't just do it whenever you want you really have to um you really have to do it when uh the you know the time is right so to speak um okay so these are the shelves the awesome shelves that come with the new pack and these items so you know you've got one here without with a ladder and you have one here without a ladder and if you look at the two of them together, you can see that the layout of the books is a little bit different, which is nice, but also um, they snap together. So that's really cool. So that you can, you know, mix and match these how you would like. You know, you can have one with a, with a ladder, without a ladder and so on. So you have all the ones here with the ladders. Okay, all the same, but you just have all the swatches here. And it's kind of nice how the uh, colors of the books really change a lot too. Like something like this one is quite different, you know, from these two with the or, um, sort of orange, yellow colors and then the pinks and so on. And then you have uh, the same without a, uh, a ladder. I was gonna say without a shelf, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this is like another display cabinet. So, you know, it's kind of cool. This would be really nice to use like at the magical headquarters, um, you know, in the, in the magic realm. And, you know, it's not too big. It's quite small. It's quite understated. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not really my style, but it gives up like really heavy kind of spellcaster vibes to me, which is really nice. You have here some like gem kind of guide posters and we saw at least one of them in the trailer. And then there are these other ones. Uh, I'm, I'm not actually... They're just prints. It says Lunar Alignment Print. So you have a range of different ones here, you know, in different like kind of colors. You have like the black set, the blue set and the red ones. So, you know, they're, they're kind of nice. Um, 
I don't, I don't like <laughs> I don't like this pattern, but I like the rest of them with the, you know, the moon and then this one in particular with the moon phases is probably my favorite. But yeah, a nice, another nice kind of decorative thing that you can have around the place. Ah, uh, there's also a mirror. So that's pretty cool. There's like, you know, um, some really fun swatches here. So I think like this pink one is really cool. Um, and I like the green one. And, you know, then you have just like your plain ones too. There's only sort of one brown swatch, but I guess this kind of looks like a metallic swatch yeah oh no i'm sorry a metallic kind of like uh finishing on the mirror and the frame so it sort of makes sense i guess that you don't have wood there although i would have appreciated some wood and then you have um an all-star tool rack so another decorative item and um pretty cool nothing like nothing too special but i actually really appreciate that it's not overdone um otherwise it might sort of i don't know be too much you know if you decorate a room with all of like a lot of this stuff uh, it's quite simple and there are also just to finish off uh, to finish off there's also three um, ready-made rooms that come with the pack so you can see from um, like the top we have actually here's that like another example of the snapped shelves together you have uh, the desk, the cabinet. This is just a standard chair that's like not from the pack. I guess it's base game. And, um, you know, your charging pad and, you know, your gemology table and whatnot. So this is pretty cool. And you have just some, um, they've shown here, which I think is really nice, uh, how you can, you know, put extra sort of decorative things on here. So that's, that's really nice. But yeah. So that's one of the rooms. And then we have a lighter version. So that's also really nice. And then you have this one here, which is kind of uh, a little bit different. It uses like the gray swatches a lot and the, um, and the red wallpaper as well. So really nice. Weirdly though, I have to mention this, with, um, if we can go back to the rooms, or where's Crystal Creations? Um, one of the rooms was weirdly um, more expensive. <laughs> one of the versions of the rooms. So you can see this is like the base price. And then the last one is kind of like almost a hundred simoleons more expensive. I don't know why, because usually all the different swatches of the one room are the same price, but it's, it's kind of like just the way that the way that it's it's working i don't i don't know i don't know why i that might be an error that they have to fix but just so that you're aware um and something i just noticed was that the charging grid is on the table so i guess you know if you wanted to you know gameplay and your sims here doing you know gemology and making jewelry and then i guess you could just probably load up the jewelry as you get it and then just like drag it outside when you want to so that's pretty handy. I actually didn't realize that the first time around when I was looking at these. Um, I think that's it. I don't know if there's any debug items. I didn't get a chance to look, but in terms of what actually comes with the pack, you can see, you know, when, once you sort of factor in all of the swatches that we have, like it's quite a lot and it's quite, you know, for a stuff pack, it's pretty generous as well. I didn't expect that there would be so many different swatches of all of the items so uh, i'm pretty pleased with it you know although there's some items i don't quite like i'm looking at this shelf over here um <laughs> other display case you know i think overall in my opinion it's pretty good and you know there are some really versatile pieces here um but yeah this is it i hope that you have enjoyed our build by journey here and uh, I guess I will catch you in another video. Bye for now.